Hey guys. Hello. What's this? So this is a drawing of the bookshelves that I want to make. I want to make two of them. And we kind of sort of introduced them to you last So these are like week. left and right? Yes. So our windows here for the loft are going to be in between these. And so we have one bookshelf that goes that direction and then another one that goes this direction. And what are those for? Um, for our trash keys. Um, our set decoration? Yes. So the windows will be here. Yep. And then the actual like desk and studio such. news desk thing will be in front of the windows and will be sitting there. Yes. And then the camera will be back here looking at us and moving around on the boom. Correct. And then off to the sides of the shot, you've got uh, mirror image shelves of each other. Correct. And they're going to be kind of like angled, like this and one's like, going to be like this, and this one's going to be So like those that. antique cameras and whatnot will be going on these projects and stuff? Correct. Cool. And so I just wanted to show anybody else who wanted to learn how to make them or do them yourself. Um, so I'm making them five by five, five feet by five feet, and it's pretty easy. You just have to cut planks into five feet, four feet, three feet, two feet, one foot. But... Um, you can use the same piece of wood, obviously, for... Two and three makes five, and one and four makes five. Right. So. So. Um, so each bookcase requires, I want to say... Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet. Yep. Yeah. Or six fives. Yeah. So. so 60 feet between the two. Yep. And that ain't cheap. Nope. And... But it's cheaper oh. than the actual one that than these bookcases, because the bookcases would have cost us like somewhere of $700 to buy. Yeah, so, $700 for bookshelves, not so much. Yep. So I got about $120 worth of wood, poplar, uh, as you guys saw here before. And just to show you, this one is the five foot, oh no, actually, <laughs> I was so, so skilled at the cut. No, um, so this one's a four foot, four foot with the one foot over there, mm -hmm. you can see. And then we have a three foot with the two foot. And then we have our five footer on the left here. So the thing that we I had to keep in mind was um, I wanted the verticals, the verticals to hook into the horizontals. Um, well, I guess both would hook into each other, but whatever. And so when you when you work on a bookshelf like this, you have to know what angle um, they're going to be at. So like this bookshelf, for instance, would be at this angle towards you. Mm -hmm. And so you want the nicer wood facing that direction. Oh, you're talking about which uh, bits of the wood you want visible to the front side of the shelf. Correct. That's clever. Yep. So this one... I'm guessing you also made it so that the, uh, the grains were sort of equally um, evident on both sets of shelves as well. Yep. Yep. And that's why you see the difference between the three-footer and the two-footer. They're not from the same board. So you must have swapped from one shelf to the other one of the lengths. Correct. Gotcha. Yep. So the current lines that I have right now, I don't know if you guys can see them, these lines are where the cuts will be made, um, but I still have to and measure... And that's like where the shelves fit into each other. There'll be a slot mm -hmm. there, and there'll be a slot on its mating piece. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yep. So I've pretty much drawn all of these lines, but from here I need to draw how much to the side of each of these yeah, lines. Yeah, those are just on it. centers right now by the look of it. Yep, exactly. So when, when you measure out this much, it's got to be able to fit the width of the board here. Yeah. And this is about what? Uh, three quarters of an inch? Yep. So, um, I'll measure that and then hopefully get to do some cutting next week. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so Tuesday we can do some more updating on the assembly of this. Yep. And uh, uh, for this video, after we're, uh, we're done talking here, we'll close it up with some video of Eddie <laughs> <laughs> cutting and cutting and cutting with her new toy, the, yep. uh, the big sliding compound miter saw mm -hmm. she picked up last week. Which, by the way, calibration is quite difficult. 
Yeah, she's finally got it all calibrated and working nicely. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, uh, that's it for us. Stay tuned for some some uh, chopping. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.